right, we're going to uh, update a program in the field with an S7-1200 with a somatic memory card. It's always a good idea to make sure that you have the PPLC set start up uh, from a power cycle. Now I'm just opening up a program that I have. It just has a couple uh, outputs uh, turned on. But I'm going to demonstrate how we write it to the card. My card card is actually plugged into the built-in uh, SD card uh, writer that's in the, in the computer, but you can use an external. It'll show up uh, down there. Then you simply go to here, tell it to uh, write the card, pick the card or card reader that you have. There we go. Now this card's been used, so there's a program on it already. But I'm just going to write it. It does compile, and then we load it onto the card. Now once done, uh, you can actually see it on the card itself. And you can actually open it and double check that the uh, card has uh, got the program you want. Now, I've already set this to be a, tr a uh, transfer card, but uh, they default to a program card. Uh, so just change it from program to transfer. That'll change where the card acts when you plug it into the PLC. And jump to the PLC itself. I'm gonna power it down. I'll put the uh, card in that I pulled out of my computer. Oh, maybe I should put it in the right way. There we go. And it clicks in. Now I'm just going to power cycle it on. It will see the card there. See it as a transfer card. Start reading it and overwrite the program that's actually in the PLC. Now it overwrites everything, so make sure that uh, your hardware settings and everything were proper for that PLC. Now the uh, lights uh, start flashing yellow, that means it's done. But don't get hurry, just make sure it finishes. Pull the card out, and now I'm just going to turn the power back on, and now it'll go through its boot cycle. And hopefully you'll go get uh, the solid grid. Uh, and you can see the two out outputs just turned on that I had put in the program. So I know it's running. Thank you.